Hello everyone and I welcome you back to a new series of financial management lectures and in this lecture we are going to cover what is financial management and what are the financial functions or decisions which are as following such as investment decision, financing decision, dividend decision and liquidity decision. I would like to divide financial management into two parts the first one as financial and the second one as management what is financial or finance it is the art and science of managing or taking care of our money suppose I have hundred rupees what should I do with this hundred rupees I can invest it in entertainment and I may have no return the second option is I can investment in bank deposit and it may have lower rate of return and lower rate of risk and the third one i may invest it in a stock market and there would be high rate of return and high rate of risk now what is management management is a set of disciplines a set of principles such as planning how we can plan how we can organize how we can direct and how we can control when applying all these principles in finance what might be the result the result would be we are taking care of our money so it means applying the general principles of management to financial resources of an enterprise now coming to finance functions or decisions and this is the very important part every finance manager or every CFO should take care of the first one is investment decision what is investment decision the name is suggesting as that it is some type of investment and these investments are long term in fixed assets such as building machinery purchasing power for organization whatever and here if we take example we are having three projects suppose these are three projects and we are going to invest and here investment decision guides us which project is profitable for us should i go for this first one for this second one or for this third one it shows me it directs me the second one is financing or capital mix decision in here a finance manager may go for a decision on how much to raise money from outside the organization or how much we should or a finance manager should raise money from inside the organization from shareholders the third part is dividend decision when the profit is left at last this is the money of shareholders we can reinvest it in the organization we can give it as profit to shareholders or we can uh, suppose partly we can invest or partly we can divide it to our shareholders this is the dividend decision and the last one is the liquidity decision liquidity decision is very much important it is like liquid like water we should have optimum amount of liquidity in our organization it is like soul in the body suppose and what is this liquidity liquidity investment is related to less than a year suppose we should have some assets which would be converted to money in less than a year and we need that for daily operation of our business suppose we need cash at hand we cash at bank we need some raw material to sell it to the market so we need that money we need some sort of money for liquidity purposes in our organization now giving a little bit more attention to investment decision as I said investment decision is for long-term purposes and we can also call it as capital budgeting decision and that would yield benefit to us in the future not right now suppose I have invested amount 50 lakhs 50 lakhs in building or machinery or land I will not receive the benefit now I have to pay the money but I will not receive the benefit today I may receive it in years and years it may take 10 years or it may take 20 years or in between or more but for finding the exact duration we are going to study the methods these methods are as payback period 
NPV, net present value, IRR, internal rate of return, ARR, accounting rate of return, and one is also as profitability index. Though these methods are also divided into two parts, the modern methods and the traditional methods. The traditional method does not consider the time value of money, but the modern method do consider the time value of money, and this is much more accurate in the hand of decision makers. What is time value of money? We will explain it in um, next lectures while we will be studying the methods in the practical. For a financial manager, this is very much important to go for a market analysis. And why this is important? Because before taking the investment decision, we have to have deep analysis. Otherwise, the company may become as bankrupt if our decision, our long-term decision goes wrong. Suppose we are launching a new product and that is a juice. We should give it a demo in the market. Will the people like our product? Will they be with us for long term or suppose any way of demand analysis should be done in the market and if that is acceptable and people like our product then we should go for a technical analysis and that what is the technical analysis will we have the capacity will we have the capacity to produce what the demand is in the market what the people like about our product. These are very much important. We have to have a market analysis and then technical analysis, which is related to our company. Financing decision. When the investment decision is taken by a finance manager, then he has to decide when, where, and how to acquire the funds to meet that investment needs we decided to go for producing the juice now we need the money now we need that sort of fans to meet our investment needs here the mix of debt and equity is known as capital structure when we have the own fan and we have the borrowed fan it is called as capital structure a finance manager responsibility is to obtain best financing mix now here the finance manager is having some new type of responsibilities and what is that he has to find the optimum capital structure and what is the optimum capital structure in optimum capital structure we are having the best combination of debt fan and equity fan means the borrowed fan and our own fan or shareholders fan and in this optimum capital structure the cost of capital is minimized and the value of firm is maximized so in here it says firm's capital structure is considered optimum when market value of share is maximized and for explaining that well we are having some theories of capital structure which are as in i theory net income theory net operating income theory traditional theory uh, modi Gilioni and miller theory these theories are explaining well on how we should finance and which finances better considering the value of the best value of our organization Dividend decision is yet another important decision taken by a finance manager. The finance manager decides whether to distribute all profit, retain the profit, or distribute a portion and retain the balance. Here we have optimum dividend policy, and it is one that maximizes the market value of the share. Now we can find the direct relationship between dividend decision and optimum dividend policy. And we have to notice, now we have to notice that dividend decision is very much related to uh, the value of shareholders, value of the organization, the wealth maximization of shareholders. And financial manager, they are having an optimum dividend payout ratio where the equilibrium, the best benefit of the wealth maximization of organization will be taken into consideration and they decide how much to pay how much to keep all these decisions are taken and this is having a mathematical relationship 
but you find it here as we find the percentage of dividends to the available shareholders. The last part of our discussion is liquidity decision. And as I said, that liquidity is like soul in the body. Liquidity depicts the short-term position of a business entity. It shows that how the business functions in short run, and that short run in finance is less than a year. Current assets should be managed efficiently for safeguarding the firm against the danger of illiquidity. It means that we have to have sufficient amount of cash fund for our current assets. We have to take care of this to escape illiquidity from our organization. Investment in current assets affect the profitability and liquidity. So here we are having two scenarios. One is profitability and the another is liquidity. When we raise our profitability, suppose we invest the money in machinery, in building, or whatever fixed terms are there. The money is stacked here for long-term purposes, hence the liquidity decreases. When the liquidity decreases, there's also a risk of um, daily operations. So here we elaborated more. A conflict exists between profitability and liquidity while managing current assets. If the firm does not invest sufficient fan in current assets, then it may become illiquid. If we don't care of our current assets, our short-term funds, then the illiquidity is possible. But if it does, uh, it would lose profitability. Now, in the another scenario, if the finance manager invests more money in uh, current asset, then the profitability will decrease because we have increased the liquidity and there would be idle money because if the current asset will not work properly and we are having extra cash here then that money is as idle and if we would have invested in uh, long-term assets we would have a high rate of profitability so in here also the finance manager is responsible to take care of all these type of decisions for reaching the highest potential a finance manager is using the liquidity ratios and they are as current ratio quick ratio and cash ratio which we will be studying them all in other lectures and i thank you for attending this lecture i hope you enjoyed from this lecture and if yes then give uh, your thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe Thank you so much.